another another gig in uh, in Nottingham. It's always a bigger a bigger thing uh, to play a hometown gig because it's quite nerve wracking. It's always fun when there's a, a bit more at stake when you know family and loved ones are coming to a gig. One of the uh, the good things about Nottingham, one of the many good things about Nottingham is the uh, music venues. If you like the Holy Trinity, <laughs> the Holy Trinity being uh, the bodega, the rescue rooms, and Rock City. I've played at all three, and um, yeah, they're good, they're good. People from Notts um, who are doing well at the minute, obviously Jake, Jake Bug, really um, great to see him doing doing so well. Uh, he's an intelligent guy as well, which is which is great. Also, we've got people like Indiana, Dog is Dead, um, Nina, who um, I've done a lot of gigs with. Obviously London, Manchester, Liverpool, traditionally um, places where great music has come out, especially, especially guitar bands. Um, but now you can add um, Knots to that list. Now I know what you look for is to live me. Now I know what you look for and it doesn't look a thing like me. I guess what I'm before is laughing at It's laughing at I've always enjoyed uh, the more intimate gigs. I mean, the Glee Club obviously is um, fairly small. I think you can um, put across a little bit more in, uh, in songs, in a performance. Um, in a smaller room, some of the uh, some of the best gigs I've played and uh, and also been to as a spectator have been in fairly small rooms. I don't know; it just translates better. I mean, you wouldn't go and watch a painting from the back of an ice arena. Support acts, support acts has always been um, quite an important uh, aspect of a, a show for me. If it's quite similar to what you do and you, you like you like someone's work and you want to introduce their work because you appreciate it to other people. A lot of big tours now, uh, record labels pay for their acts to get on the tour and I think that's a bit rubbish in a way. You know, it takes the realness out of it and if there's no real love for what the person's doing, then really, um, what's the point? Good support makes for a better show. Baby, you see me face down, hit up. It's not the cold of dark, just my mind's made up. And they call me the loner, they call me the one with you. I enjoy playing live. It's an extension of the way I put out records. I think it's a very uh, communal uh, spirit to it. You know, the fans are quite a bit more a part of it. I think that's something that's been lost, you know, the consideration for the people who. Um, in a way, you know, fund what you do because uh, you know there's something they they see in it. People can feel feelings without anything having to be really pointed out. I like going to see some shows because there's a really um, close and friendly atmosphere. They bring people together. You can also meet people who sing the music. It's a two-way thing because you're getting something from the audience, kind of passing it back and forth. It's like a tennis game, I guess. To be able to meet these people is uh, a great thing. I don't really have a uh, pre-show ritual. Probably just blind panic, crippling self-doubt. You know, just wondering if I'm gonna go out on stage and have forgotten how to strum or play a chord or something like that. You know, I've been to tons of gigs um, as, a, as a child, really, and, um, and, and now up to the present day. One of the first gigs that um, sparked my imagination was um, going to see a guy called Mike Scott um, and his band The Water Boys just uh, blew me away. Quite a magical experience as it always is when you when you realise you love that sort of thing. I saw this guy called um, Ezio Lunadai. He's amazing. Writes some brilliant songs. I was lucky enough to be invited by um, Paul Simon uh, along to one of his um, gigs at the iTunes Festival. That was just amazing. And that year I saw him a couple of times actually. And he's always um, just magic. I've never really lost it. Yeah, I mean, uh, the list would be endless. I've seen lots of things that have inspired me. I do love it. I mean, a lot of people love live music. Not as much as me, so. <laughs>